Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what it is. A doctor's in the house. So, look, check it out. Man. It was brought to my attention. You know, I was doing some research. Y'all know I should be. <laughs> I was just be thinking, thought, thought about the fights, you know, I was thinking about the fights yesterday, you know, the great fights we had in Japan, and I was looking at it like, man, I was doing some more research into, into Yosh, Yoshiki, or, or Yash, Yoshiki uh, Takei, and I was like, man, you know, I don't really know much about him, so I just happened to look, I mean, it's just straight coincidental, I just happened to look into him. Nigga, you gay. And I did not know this man was a former kickboxing champion. But wait! Not only was he a former kickboxing champion, this man was on the pound for pound list. I believe he peaked at number eight pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? So he just beat Jason Maloney uh, last night or early this morning, rather. And I was just like, wow, man. You know, so I have some critiques uh, on him last night. I was like, man, he got a little gas. And I thought his, style, his, his, his technique wasn't, wasn't the best. And I was like, man, why he didn't step on the gas? But now I see this man is a freaking combat sport fighting fight game extraordinaire man you know he's now he's a champion in boxing and that's and that's a rarity right you know it's a rarity already to see uh, a success at the world class level when you cross it over sports you know very few have done it but it's even rarer you know so so let's name the people you know uh uh uh, uh we we see Israel Adesanya you know he was a kickboxer Alex Pereira you know and they they kickboxers that had success in the MMA world you know we see the Marco Krokop you know he had success with kickboxing in the MMA again you know we see the we see quite a few people, you know, but it's rare. It's those just off the top of my head, but it's rare that we see them go f and have success from one combat sport to boxing at the world class level. I think off the top of my head, I think only this guy, uh, 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 Yosh Yoshiki Take, and Chris Algeria. I think Chris Algeria, if I'm not mistaken, he was also a kickboxer that was a world champion in boxing. You know what I'm saying? And look, at we have the GOAT. We have Clarissa Shields. She's she's a world class champion of boxing and going over to MMA right now I think she's two and one you know we've seen Holly Holmes do it you know she's a champion in boxing and she was a champion in, champion in MMA like I said I'm not gonna go through all, all the lists but I just want to big up salute to Yoshiki Take man like I said I think it's it's rare to have success in two sports at the world class level uh, uh whether they're both combat sports or whatever but it's even more rare to go from one combat sport to have a world class level success in boxing you know so I, I believe only uh, Algeria and and Take have come from MMA, uh, not MMA, sorry, uh, kickboxing, and now is world class, and what has has become a world class uh, champion in boxing itself, man. So that that's just amazing, you know what I'm saying? So I just want a big big up salute to Take, and uh, yeah, I got put, put some respect on this man's name, man, world champion. I have to, I have to start watching kickboxing more often. Man. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Because yeah, there's some hitters in kickboxing, like so, man, you, you know, yeah, there's, there's a lot of hitters, man. But you know, it's a shout out to Clarissa Shields. I don't know how far she's gonna go, but you know, she's the gold of boxing, and she's she's going over there to uh, MMA. Uh, like I said, she's two and one right now. We had Holly Holmes, who was a boxing champion, went over there at MMA, and she 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 conquered MMA at the world class level. So respect to these fighters. These are fighting geniuses, and, and they're just dope, man. Put some respect on their name. That's all. I just want to make a post about that, man. Y'all, let me know in the comments if y'all can think of any other uh, uh some more crossover sports. Uh, success stories uh, in the com in the combat sports world. Of course, there's many in the in the, in the, in, the, in the sports in totality of sports. But I'm talking about specifically the combat sports. And also, tell me, am I wrong about that? Tell, let me know because I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Now I'm not using Google. I don't have Google at my fingertips right now. You know, when I go into my computer, I'll think about it even further. But let me know of any other. Uh, a fighter that was successful in another in another fight sport and came over to boxing and was a world champion. I'm not talking about just be successful, win fights. I'm talking about be a world champion because Take and Algeri they were both world champions, man. So big salute to them. You know what I'm saying? So let me know. Let me know if I'm missing anybody. I appreciate y'all rocking as always, man. Y'all be easy. Once again, with God we can do anything. Without God we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets